Today, we're going to assemble the Brown Dog Gadgets Solar Science Station. For this project, we'll need components from the kit, starting with the wooden case, sides, top of the box, sides of the mount for the solar cell, cross beam for the solar cell, back and front of the box, and the bottom plate. We also need our electrical components, voltmeter, screw down terminal block, power output jacks, USB circuit, and double-sided foam tape. Lastly, our solar cell with pre-soldered wire leads, screws and nuts to assemble the case, a few wires, and Velcro. Tools for this project include small regular and Phillips screwdrivers, scissors, and a wire stripper. Even if the wires are already stripped, there's a few that we might want to strip some additional insulation off of. For example, you might want to strip a bit more off one end of the plain red and black wires. Next, grab the LED voltmeter. We'll strip all three wires. Pull the wires apart and strip them. The red and white are positive and the black is negative. Next, get the solar cell, Velcro, and wooden mount for the cell. Cut the Velcro in half. Place the Velcro on the back of the solar cell so it lines up with the wooden mount. Remove the adhesive backing and stick the solar cell to the wooden mount with the Velcro. Thread the wires from the solar cell through the top of the box. Grab the faceplate, banana sockets, and the stripped red and black wires. Remove the nut and lock washer on the banana sockets. Mount the banana sockets into the wood faceplate and install the washer and nut. Make sure to put the red one in the hole marked positive and the black in the negative. We'll attach the stripped wires to the banana sockets by twisting the matching wire around the post and tightening the small end nut. Cut the solid wire in half to make two pieces and use them to secure the voltmeter in place. On the back of the faceplate, make sure the voltmeter wires point down and that on the front of the display, the decimal points are at the bottom. Place the solid wires through the holes in the faceplate, through the holes in the voltmeter, and twist them to secure it. Using the screws, assemble the main body of the project the base, front, back, and sides. Place a nut on the screw, snap it into the slot provided, and snug down the screw. Repeat this for all the connections. Use double-sided foam tape to secure the USB circuit in place. Your science station should now look like this, with the wires hanging free. Time to wire it up. We're using this four-port screw terminal. Each pair of screws connect electrically to each other. They're tightened down with a simple screwdriver. All the red positive wires will go to one pair of screw-down terminals, and all the black negative wires go to the other. For example, let's twist together the solar cell positive wire and the banana socket positive wire. Then we'll place them into one end of the terminal block and tighten down the screw. Do the same with the rest of the wires. When you are done, the terminal block should look like this, with the positive wires at one end and the negative at the other. If you are using the optional battery holder, there's an additional step. Connect the red battery holder wire together with the black stripe end of the diode into the terminal block. Connect the other end of the diode to the positive wires. Connect the black battery holder wire to the negative connections. Finish assembling the remaining components. Attach the lid to the box with four screws and nuts. Connect the sides to the solar panel mount. Okay. 
Lastly, attach the solar mount assembly to the rest of the Solar Science Station. You are now ready to take the project outside in full sunlight to test it out. Point the solar panel towards the sun and note the voltage. Change the angle of the panel and check the voltage again. Now it's your turn to perform all sorts of experiments with the Solar Science Station. For more projects, videos, and fun, check out browndoggadgets.com. Thank you.